Our Father in heaven, we humbly come to you, Lord. Be merciful to us, Lord. We ask that you cleanse us from all our sins and unrighteousness. We ask your Holy Spirit, Lord, to be with us, especially with me as I read your word to your children. Thank you for hearing our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Sir, pabawas nga, sir. Thank you. So, happy Sabbath. Praise the Lord for Adventist education. You know, I'm so excited whenever I come to an Adventist school because I was born in an Adventist school. I grew up in an Adventist school. Nagkaisip ako in an Adventist school. I took my elementary, my high school. I was running around in Adventist school all my life. Until now, I am still in the Adventist school trying to teach others what my teachers taught me when I was in school. Praise the Lord for Adventist teachers. Amen? Yes, this is the best place to be in your age. According to my observation, our... Uh, you know what? Uh, ilagay mo nga dun sa ano, Jairus. Uh, Mardel said a while ago that I really like to teach people media ministry. Uy, nawala yung signal. Dun sa hati-hati. Uh, check my test. Sa scene na... Because, you know why? Because uh, I read that when Jesus comes in Revelation 22, 12, for behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give according to every man his work shall be. And then, so pag may nagpapabinyag, when somebody gets baptized and you help in evangelism, then, okay, tell me what's wrong. I don't have, my HDMI, wala akong signal dyan. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, before I start telling stories, let me just read the Bible. Our topic tonight, this morning, is about remember. Because Pastor Joshua told me, Sir, you speak about doctrines, specifically Sabbath keeping. But I want to add some things, media ministry, and also, uh, I forgot the other things. Okay. Remember, because if you look at the picture, my friends, this is the parable of the sower. In the parable of the sower, which Jesus said are why people backslide. And to summarize, the, Jesus said himself, the reason people backslide is because they don't understand doctrines. The, and he says after a few verses, the reason people have 60 fruit, 30 fruit, 100 fold fruit is because they understand the word. So the difference between backsliders and fruitful Christians is the understanding of doctrines. Yeah? Okay. Matthew 13, 9. When anyone hears the message about the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what was sown in their heart. This is the seed that is sown along the path. Number two cause is not enough root in the Bible. The seed falling on the rocky ground refers to someone who hears the word, who goes to Adventist school, and once receives it with joy, you are happy to learn the Bible. But since they have no root, how do you get root, my friends? You get root when you experience evangelism and revival and help in the church and help in the media ministry. That's why I like to, uh, if you notice, I come here at 7 o'clock at Sabbath. And I set up in PIC at 7.30. And I set up here at 8.30. And if there's other church, I can set up things. I will set up. Why? Because the more things I do for God's work, the more root I have. And the more root I have, uh, the less I will uh, backslide. Yeah? They last only a short time. And the more problems you have in media ministry, in any kind of ministry, the more used you are to problems. And problems become very easy. Yeah, sir? If you are used to problems, eh, ano lang yan? Mani, mani lang yan. When trouble or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. Ano pa? Nang cause ng backslide? Wealth. There are many people who are working now because they don't know the Sabbath. But if you know the Sabbath and you're working, it's because of destruction of money. The seed falling among the thorns refers to someone who hears the word but worries of his life 
and deceitfulness of wealth choke the word, making it unfruitful. So, thinking too much of money can make us unfruitful. Miscomputation of benefits. Jesus said, if you want to be perfect, go and sell and give you to the poor and we'll have treasure in heaven. But when the young man heard, okay, he had many possessions. So everyone who has left houses or brothers, sisters, father, mother, wife, or children, for my name's sake, shall receive hundredfold. If you left 100 peso, you will get 100 times 100 is, uh, okay, let's the mathematics do that one. And inherit eternal life. Ito ang problema. This is the problem. If we don't understand doctrine, for a time will come when they will endure, when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts. You know what? There are many doctrines. And many of them are taught in the high school curriculum and the elementary curriculum and the college curriculum. Yeah. So I'm not going to focus too much on the things that are already taught because I went through Adventist school. I know what is taught. Yeah. I will only focus on things that uh, we forgot. So this might be shocking, but only official things I will teach. Yeah. But after their own lust shall heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. They like to have teachers who would only tell them uh, what they like to hear. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. I want everyone to be saved. Yeah, everybody wants to be saved. I assume everybody wants to be saved. To be saved. And everybody wants to save other people, also like their friends and family and other people, their neighbors, etc. So I assume. Everybody wants to be saved. Everybody wants to obey. And we are just helping each other uh, be saved. Okay? I appeal to you, brothers and sisters. Yan. Do not teach contrary doctrines. Jesus said, I come not to destroy the law and the prophets, but to fulfill. So even Jesus himself does not contradict the old prophets. Yeah? So the, do not, those who teach contrary doctrines to what was already established, do not uh, avo avoid them, yeah? Ano pang nandito, friends? Okay, we will skip this again. Okay, this is one of the uh, reasons why people backslide. It is, do not associate with sexually immoral people, nor all meaning sexually immoral for, of this world. Greedy, swindlers, idolaters, since you need to go out of the world. But now I am with you, Okay. Yan. But there is a solution. Remember Mary Magdalene? There is a solution, yeah? Also in 1 Corinthians 6, 9, it says, you who are uh, sexually immoral, but you were washed, you were cleansed by the blood, yeah? So if we have done many bad things before, don't worry. The Bible says, though your sins be as scarlet, I shall make them as white as snow. You know, remember Moses? He killed somebody in Egypt, but he's the one carrying the Ten Commandments from Mount Sinai, right? And in the Ten Commandments, it says, thou shalt not kill. How come God assigned Moses to carry the Ten Commandments when it says, thou shalt not kill? But Moses killed somebody in Egypt. That means, no, your, your sins be as scarlet. God can use you to save many people. Amen? Also, my favorite, Paul, who was Saul before. He persecuted many, many Christians, but when God called him to the ministry, he wrote almost half of the New Testament. So God can change foolish people <laughs> to evangelists. Amen. That's a miracle. Okay. Not neglecting to go to church also in Hebrews 10, 25. Okay. Also pride. This is the problem. God said something, but you know, my idea is better. That is pride. I don't know. I, it's very hard to understand does not agree with Jesus. When Jesus Christ says something and then your friends say another thing, contradict, or God said something, but your friends, your group of friends say something else, who will be followed? That is the yeah, great controversy. When we don't obey, the Bible says he is puffed up with conceit and understands nothing. He is an unhealthy craving for controversy and quarrels about words which produce envy, dissension, slander, suspicion, and constant friction among people depraved in mind and depraved in the truth of the truth. Okay. So what are the solutions, my friend, to avoid backsliding? Of course, 
The problem is not understanding the word. If you don't understand the word, you backslide. Jesus said, if you understand the word, you have fruits, a hundredfold fruits. So the difference between not understanding and understanding is to study, right? Ra study. How do you study? If you don't understand one way, one, one, one YouTube video, you look for another YouTube video to, to help explain, yeah? Repetition. Bible uses repetition. If you don't understand one teacher, you ask the other teacher. Maybe the other teacher can explain it better. So that is what Adventist education is about. That's why we repeat all of the Bible uh, doctrines. But the Comforter, yeah, and the Holy Spirit will help us understand all things. The Bible says, but when I live, I will send the Comforter. He will teach you all things whatsoever I have uh, taught you. So the Holy Spirit will teach us. Wow, that is the best promise. The Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Wow, imagine in the exam, you don't remember it, but after the exam, you remember it. <laughs> but the Holy Spirit will, remember, will help you remember. Will, he, shall, subject, he shall teach you all things and bring to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. Yan. Ito, sabi ni Jesus Christ, Matthew 13, 23, But the seed falling on good soil refers to someone who hears the word and understands it. This is the one who produces a crop. So if you hear and you understand, you are going to produce crop. Uh, crop. This is C-R-O-P, yeah, not C-R-A-P. Yielding 160 and 30 times what was sown. Wow, praise the Lord. So study. 2 Timothy 2.15, study to show thyself approved unto God. That's why you're enrolled in AUPA, because the Bible says we have to study. And listening to preaching, Romans 10.17, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. That's why we try our best in audiovisual to make the audio clear, because the Bible says faith, says faith cometh by hearing. And by the way, we are open for volunteers, you elected officers, but everybody else is, uh, is allowed and encouraged to help. Because the more you help, the more re root you have. And I'm so happy with I'm, what I'm doing in media ministry that I want to record so many sermons. So I moved many cameras. I cannot use all of the cameras I have. So I lend it to Nagaview, I lend it to this, 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 this. And, uh, but I forgot to lend to AUPA. <laughs> That's why I'm here, because I have learned all over the Philippines already, but AUPA, there is nothing here. That's why, uh, you know what, it's really fun in the media ministry, especially when people get baptized. Sabi kasi no ating kaibigan na iba, sir, you should have a goal in, media, in ministry. Okay, I set goal 100 per year. I prayed to God, and God helped me help evangelism, and I totaled 100. And I said, 1,000, Lord. How? How? I don't know. How. You, you ask the Holy Spirit what to do. Everybody has an assignment. You just have to ask God when you wake up in the morning, Lord, what will I do? And God will give you assignment. Very nice. I don't know what, but that's what I do. When you have nothing to do, you ask God what to do, and God will tell you what to do. Because the Holy Spirit is alive. He is there. God is there. If any of you lack wisdom, you don't know what to do, you ask God. Don't worry. You, see, you listened to the birds a while ago. The, the sparrow, do not worry about anything. Even the sparrow, God is concerned about them. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally. You see, all men, everybody will have a role in evangelism. Everybody, yeah? If there is somebody who thinks he's not included in everybody. Ayan. Ito, ang ganda nito, friends. Christians who are constantly growing in earnestness. A while ago, I, we forgot because there's no prompter and there is no there. I said, next time we will have prompter maybe and uh, diba? And next time somebody will make PowerPoint, somebody will make lower thirds, and somebody will, uh, what else? Ano pa yung kulang? There are so many opportunities that we can do. Don't worry if we're not perfect. Sabi dyan, constantly, na wala yung aking ano. Okay. Constantly growing in earnestness, in zeal and favor. Such Christians will never backslide. Uh, friends, the best, con I, I'm really concerned about everyone, including myself. I don't want, we don't want anyone to backslide. Diba, sir? That's why kaya nga tayo may AUP, so not never, never will backslide, never, nobody will backslide. 
So those who will not backslide are those who are zealous in fervor and love and growing in earnestness constantly. There is but one general cure for spiritual laziness, and that is work. So wake up early in the morning on Sabbath. You come here and you help, okay? Working for souls who need your help. So you look for evangelism. If there is evangelism in Putin, I go there. Evangelism here, you go there. You try to fill your life with evangelism because watching YouTube and Facebook is very boring. Diba, sir? Night and day, it will just finish your life. And I don't know what will... Okay, never mind. Yeah, so friends, this is the fundamental beliefs of Seventh-day Adventists. Number one, Holy Scriptures. I think everybody believes Bible, yeah? But did you read Bible? We have to read the Bible, whole Bible, because the Bible says all Scripture, not only Genesis, not only Proverbs. My favorite is Proverbs. But the Bible says all Scripture is useful. So we have to read all Scripture. How will the, because the Holy Spirit will remind us what we have read. If we have not read, then how can we, there is no reminder. Okay, we don't have any problem with this, so I will just skip. But, friends, our scripture reading is Isaiah 8.20. And that is our key verse. Ito, ito, this is, you listen to this, friends. This is the root of all beliefs, Isaiah 8.20. It says, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, if they speak not according, okay, I have a question. If uh, Jairus, if I say after the divine worship, I'm going to apartment, but Jairus tell, tells me after divine worship, Servin is going to Paseo. What does yung sinabi ni Jairus is what he said according to what I said? Yes, no. Answer quickly so we can finish quickly. No, right? Okay, you are correct. If I said, after this divine worship, I'm going to apartment. And Jairus said, after this divine worship, Servin is going to PIC. Is it contradiction? Yung sa yung pasayo pala, is it contradiction? Yes. Is it according? No. But if I say, I'm going to apartment, and Jairus tells us, Servin is going to PIC. Is it contradiction? I think not very much. But my question is, is it according? And sir, what do you think, sir? No. Sir said, no. It is not according. It's same direction, but it is not according. It is not contradiction, but it is not according. The Bible requires us that what we believe has to be according to God's word. Hindi lang yung bawal ang hindi natin gagawin. Kundi ang gagawin natin ay yung sinasabing ayon. In Tagalog, the according is ayon. According to His Word. <clears throat> do you know why we don't baptize infants? Does the Bible say do not baptize infants? No. I, don't, I haven't seen it. The Bible doesn't prohibit baptizing infants. Why don't we do it? Because it is not according. So all the fundamental beliefs, my friends, in my investigation, they are all according. If there are things we are doing that are not according, I think it is safe, in my opinion, it is a waste of time because there are 33,102 or three verses in the Bible. There are 250,000 paragraphs in the spirit of prophecy. You may say, oh, paulit-ulit yung iba. Yeah, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, they are telling all the same story, but pag inulit, that is for emphasis. Okay. If there is not according, it is because there is no light in them. So that is the basis of everything. In the book, Great Controversy, in the chapter, Scriptures as a Safeguard, Ellen White says the same thing, according to the word. Yeah, and that is the basis, yeah? According. If you see it in the Bible, you are sure. Now you are not sure. What, what is the basis? What is the basis? The solution is to find it in the Bible. Yeah. Trinity. The Bible says there is one God, but there is God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yet for us, there is but one God. Yan. But Jesus says in Matthew, Mark 16, 16, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And in also in uh, Genesis, it says, let us create us. How many are there? Let us create. So the creator 
was plural. Trinity, triune, okay. It cannot fit in mathematics because God is bigger than mathematics. God is bigger than English, than Tagalog. So God the Father, we already know that, no problem. God the Son, no problem. This is an only solution, Jesus Christ. We are Christians. One pastor came and then he asked me, Win, how is your relationship with Jesus Christ? And then I said, I don't know. He left a long, long time ago. <laughs> but the Holy Spirit is my friend because he sent Holy Spirit to be uh, with us all. And then I said, what's the, I don't know how to answer a question, sir, pastor. And then what is the difference? I know God is one. So if, your Holy Spirit, if the Holy Spirit is your friend, then God, Jesus is your friend, the Father is your friend because he said, I and my Father are one and they are one, God. And he said, the Holy Spirit is the star. Okay, but I was, I want an answer from the Bible. Because he asked me, what is your relationship with Jesus Christ? So I prayed for two weeks. Lord, give me an answer from the Bible. I don't like opinions and uh, surveys of opinions. I want Bible because Bible is very powerful. The rest will die with their opinions, but the Bible, God's word can resurrect us. Diba? Yan. But and then I saw 1 John 2, 3. Herein you know that ye are, that you know him, if ye keep your commandments. Nasaan yun? Nandiyan pa later. Okay, if we keep commandments, that is the measure, reliable, uh, and again, measurable, uh, how to measure a relationship with Jesus Christ is by keeping commandments. And it says further that if you don't keep commandments, you are a liar thou. Okay. Ayan pala. And hereby, okay, there is a trumpet. And hereby, we do know that we know him if, we keep his commandments. Do you know Jesus, my friends? Don't answer. Just observe in your life if you keep your commandments. His commandments. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar. And we know liars don't go to uh, liars will go to hell. And the truth is not in him. But whoso keepeth his word in him, verily is the love of God. Okay. Those who keep commandments are loving people. They are love of God. In Him, verily, is the love of God perfected. Okay. There is how you know that you are in Jesus Christ. Wow. The Holy Spirit. I have many stories about this in another sermon, but nobody has question about this. God, the Holy Spirit, is the one who conscientia us, who make us repent from all our foolishness. Yeah? Yan. Ellen White says, my friends, Ito, I will, uh, I will just uh, reinforce what Ma'am Ardell was saying. You know what? The Holy Spirit has a list of things that drive it away. And the Holy Spirit has a list of things that encourage the Holy Spirit to come to you. And one of those things that drive away the Holy Spirit is intense amusement. That is not my opinion. This is Ellen White quotation. El amusement are doing, but there is also innocent amusement. Yeah? Yung walang nasasaktan, Innocent amusement yun. Pero pag may nasasaktan, katulad ng boxing, di ba bawal ang boxing sa AUPA? Ba't nanonood kayo ng boxing? Oh, okay, that's another question. If we bawal, dapat hindi pa panoorin. Amusement are doing more to counteract the working of the Holy Spirit than anything else. And the Lord is grieved. That is the reference. And we have to have reference because we are not preaching our opinion. Creator, yes, no problem. We believe that. Nature of man, yes, we know that we are created perfect, but because of sin, everybody has a tendency to be sinner. The descendants, because of Adam and Eve, because of your parents, Adam and Eve, yeah? My parents, Adam and Eve, were sinners. That's why I am also like the banana that was always almost falling down. They are born with weakness and tendency to do evil. But God, yeah, nang maganda, in Christ reconciled the world to himself and by his spirit restores penitent. You know what penitent oh, You know what penitent is? Those who are repenting. Don't remove the Bible verse, uh, my friend, because the Bible verse is more important than me. Me, I will die when I get old. But the Bible verse, one dot nor one tittle shall never pass through the heavens and earth pass away. 
By the way, the Bible is very important than my opinions. Ellen White says, one line of scripture is worth more than 10,000 of man's human philosophy's idea. So, Bible verse is 10,000 more better than my opinion, yeah? Created for the glory of God, they are called to love one another and care for the environment. Great controversy. Question, my friends. Alin mas marami? Masama o mabuti? Mas marami ang good angels, yeah? If there is one, if you see one evil angel, you know that there are two good angels. Don't be afraid of them. Just don't talk to them. You just talk to the good angel. Yan. In the great controversy, the issue is, sino ang susundin? Who will we follow? If God tells you, tells you stand up, are you? I think you are going to stand up. If Satan tells you stand up, who is going to stand up? What is wrong with standing up? What is wrong is who told you to do it, yeah? Who told you to do it? So, who we follow, he is the, our Lord. That's why it's very important to know the doctrines. Because if we are not following doctrines, then we are following. If it's not of God, it is sin. Whatever is faith is not of faith is sin. That's why we have to be sure what we are doing is God's will. Yeah. Buti na lang. The Holy Spirit is there to assess, assist these people in this great controversy. And also loyal angels. Wow, they are very strong. Okay. Did Jesus Christ live and die and resurrect? Yes. That's why, my friends, we have to be faithful and loyal to the one who can resurrect us. Our friends cannot resurrect us. Diba? But Jesus Christ can resurrect us. Okay, next. Experience of salvation. I already told you about Moses and uh, God saved us. You have been saved by grace. He is saving us continuously and glorification. When he comes, he will change us with a twinkling of an eye. Yeah? That is the experience of salvation. It's a miracle. Foolish people become evangelists. Wow, amazing. Don't ask your teachers how foolish they were before. <laughs> before they were converted, yeah? They have very nice testimony. The older you are, the more sins you have. Bible says, it is here. It is here. It is here. Wait long. Know ye not that unrighteous not shall inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived. Neither fornicators Idolaters, adulterers, effeminate. You know what effeminate is? Those boys who behave like girls. But don't worry. There is a solution. You read. Nor abusers of themselves in mankind, nor thieves, nor covetousness, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners. They will not inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you. But ye are washed, ye are sanctified. Wow! So those foolish people can be washed and sanctified. Wow, wow, wow. Everybody, of all of us, benefit from this. Okay, you know that. No problem. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Or despises thus the riches of good, goodness and forbearance and long-suffering. The goodness of God leadeth thee to, remembrance, uh, to repentance. When we think, I have done so many foolish things, how come God is so good to me? I don't want to be, do foolish things or, uh, anymore. You know what, my friends? I, by God's grace, I was able to help in media ministry. I asked God, Lord, what will I do? And God gave me many media ministries to help. They don't know what to do, and I know what to do. I don't know how to preach. They know how to preach. We help each other. And many hundreds of people got baptized, praise the Lord, every year. Just, just one ministry, and I have many, many ministries. And I'm listening at all the testimonies. Uh, hundreds and hundreds of people coming to the church every year. And I'm listening to the testimonies. I'm wondering, they have a question. Kuya Johnson Amikan will ask, what, which topic convinced you to go to, to be baptized in Adventist church? 80% of them tell it is the Sabbath message. I was amazed. The Sabbath is the most difficult, testing truth. And 80% of them say that it is the Sabbath message that convinced them. The rest is the Leviticus 11, Baboy, and the rest is the church doctrine. And then I'm looking in the Bible. What is the basis? I found in Psalm 19.7. 
The law of the Lord is perfect. Yung batas ng Diyos, it is converting the soul. That's why God's law converts the soul. Ayan. Okay, I already... And there is one more most difficult testimony. Is I was reading the Bible about Sabbath cooking and I was so afraid to post it online because everybody is uh, have a challenge with this. And I think when I post it, I will have no more friends. So I am very cautious to even preach and to show that I am preaching it. I just want to post it because telling the truth is very hard. You think it's easy? You think it's fun? Just try. <laughs> so I posted it. But I was amazed. Within one hour of my upload, there's a comment. I want to be baptized. Sabi ko, we have... By God's grace, we have observed many people being baptized after the crusade. But I have never uploaded a video that after one hour, somebody wants to be baptized. And guess what the topic is? Sabbath cooking. The most difficult. So, I don't know why. Because the Bible says, the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. Let's not be afraid, okay? Okay, number 11, the newest uh, fundamental belief. It means that we should continue to study and we should continue to meditate, and we should not be afraid of evil spirits because Romans 8 says, Though I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels, nor principalities nor powers, nor things present nor things to come, nor height can able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Jesus Christ our Lord. <clears throat> church, yeah. We believe everybody who believes God's word is the church. You know what, my friends? Sometimes I am confused when I listen to what is in the chismis. <laughs> and I'm wondering, is this really the true, true church? But I looked in the spirit of prophecy and in the prophetic timeline, prophetic history and prophetic future. I looked, where is the church? And I cannot find any other church than our church that has a trace from the past and a clear trace to the second coming. When Jesus comes, he's coming to get the Seventh-day Adventists who are faithful. There is no other path in prophetic future and even in prophetic past, 1844 public, and going to second coming. You cannot find the backsliders. They will, okay. That's why it's very important to understand church doctrine because you have to find who is the bride of Christ. Identify the bride of Christ yeah, so you will know that no matter how, how much chismis is in the internet, there God will set everything in order. Yan. There is no need to doubt, to be fearful that the work will not succeed. God is the head of the work. He will set everything in order according to selected messages. Yan. How about remnant? The remnant, the problem, my friends, the remnant, is God, Satan is angry with us. And the dragon was wrath with the remnant who keep the commandments of God. Yan. Okay. Number 14, unity in the body of Christ. Okay, no problem. I will just keep baptism. We all know. Why? Because the Bible says. Next is uh, Lord's Supper because Jesus says we should do it and we do it. Okay. We repent and we just do the humility function uh, of uh, foot washing. Spiritual gifts and ministries, yes. That's why you educate yourself and we help in church. There are many, some people know how to piano, how to read Bible verse, smile, self-sacrificing service, etc. And next, the gift of prophecy. That's why we believe Ellen White. Do you know, friends, that those who don't believe the testimonies, that, uh, okay, by the way, do you know that all of us are prophets? Do you know that all of us are supposed to be prophets? Because our name is Adventist. And when you say Adventist, you are prophesying that Jesus Christ is coming. We have a prophetic identity. Our name is a prophecy. Jesus Christ is coming soon. We are supposed to be prophets. Joel 2 says, it shall come to pass. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Old men shall dream dreams, young men shall see visions. You know why you want to watch vision always, live stream? It is a vision as long as what we prophesy is from the Bible. 
Yan, the Holy Spirit will be poured out and will be, there will be many prophets. In fact, in 1 Corinthians 6, okay, ito pala. In Revelation 10.10, 10, di ba Great Disappointment 1844? Revelation 10.10, 10, and I took the little book, and it was bit, uh, sweet, and it was bitter in the belly. But verse 11 says, And thou must prophesy again. After the great disappointment, the Seventh-day Adventist Church should prophesy again, all of us, to many peoples and nations and tongues and kingdoms. 1 Corinthians 14.30 says, Wherefore, brethren, covet to prophesy. Gustuhin yung maging mga propeta in Tagalog. And forbid not to speak with many different kinds of languages. That's why I like to record all the Seventh-day Adventist belief in record in many languages because uh, they are very powerful. Follow charity and but rather ye may prophesy. 1 Corinthians 14.1. Ayan. But, my friends, make sure you do not prophesy things that God is not saying. Because the Bible says in Deuteronomy 8.20, And the prophet which shall presume to say, I speak a word in my name, which I have not committed, commanded, he shall die. That's why ang ipipreach lang natin ay yung according sa Bible. Ayan. Okay. And Ellen White says, those who will backslide and change court to Satan will first remove their belief in Ellen G. White writings. Because if Ellen G. White writings is inconvenient, what if you find something in the Bible that is inconvenient? Then you will, according to Ellen White, you will backslide. So let's believe the prophets. The Bible says, believe in the prophets. Ellen White says, believe in the Bible. So it's very nice. Bible says, believe in the prophets. Ellen White says, believe the Bible. There is no conflict. Yan, the law of God, Ten Commandments. I know everybody memorized this because it is a requirement in high school and elementary. But, Jesus added, you have heard that it was said by them of old, thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you, he who looked on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her. So if you look at a woman, okay, you listen now. If you look at a woman with lust, who is committing adultery? You or the woman? So that my belief, both of you, kasi nakalagay dyan, di ba ma'am? With her. You cannot commit adultery alone. Di ba? With her. So, okay, now look at the slide. Let's have a, a reference. How long, oh, don't, those who, who, if you find yourself wanting, don't worry. This is the best motivation to go shopping tonight. Okay. How long is supposed to be the, I know, the dress? We have to have reference, not only opinion, yeah? 3SM 277. Ellen White was shown a vision. Three groups of women. One group, their dress was sweeping the floor. Ellen White says, it's too long. <laughs> you are sweeping the floor. Second group, the dress does not reach the knee. Ellen White says, no debate, it's not too short. And then what is the right one? It should be, yan, the bottom of the dress should reach, the near, uh, reach near the top of a lady's boot. So hanggang saan yung boots? Wag naman hanggang dito sa ano yung boots nyo. Di ba? So can you take picture of this? The bottom of the dress should reach the near top. This is the most easy to understand. So my friends, don't worry. Just tonight, you tell your mom, I have to go to uh, Balibago because the preacher said, I have to have nice long dress. Not too long, not too short, but this one. The bottom of the dress should reach the near top. You go to Balibago and there is an uh, ukay ukay there, Korean ukay ukay, cheap one. And then next week, you go again because the preacher said, the, our dress should be like this. And I cannot come to church with the dress I wore last Sabbath. You know, girls, they don't like to wear uniform, <laughs> uniform dress. So next week, you go again on Friday, 
and then next week, next week, next week. Don't be disappointed with all your past. Forget your past. Just remember, you can go shopping. Yeah? It is opportunity to change your dress. And don't you like go shopping? All of you want to be positive. If you find out your dress is wrong, then it is an opportunity to go shopping. And you have SOP basis for going shopping. Wow. Because the preacher, uh, Ellen White says, the bottom of the dress should reach the near top. And that is the reference. Yeah, We cannot preach anything without the reference. It should be according to God's word. Ayan. That is the reference, 3SM 278.6. Yeah? After Sabbath, you go shopping. But you cannot go shopping before Sabbath. Before the end of the Sabbath, Ellen, uh, Adventist.org says, you cannot use the hours of the Sabbath to go in a non-religious non uh, direction or for concert or something. So wait for the sunset before going to concert or before going to mall. Okay. Heaven accredited dress. Yeah, There is accreditation for dress according to Sister White. Thou shalt not steal, but the pirated software. Okay, listen, listen. Nobody else preaches this. Only me. <laughs> Pirated software, pirated PDF book, pirated books, music, sheets, music, videos, etc. The Bible says, I, the Lord thy God, love judgment. I hate robbery for offering. We steal software to use in ministry. That is called robbery for burnt offering. Yeah? That is Isaiah 61.8. So the solution is uh, to ask me what is the free software. Yeah, we have many free software. Praise the Lord. Okay. The Bible says, uh, Ellen White says, there are reasonable sum for the authors in councils to writers and editors. So they respect intellectual property, even spiritual prophecy. Sabbath, our most important requested topic by Pastor Joshua. We already know that. But I will only focus on the things that we forget. Isaiah 58 says, don't do your own pleasure. Yeah? Number one, call the Sabbath a delight. I have a question. Should we make the Sabbath a delight or should we call the Sabbath a delight? Call the Sabbath. The Bible says, call the Sabbath a delight. Do not do your own ways. Do not think of your own things. Words, think, speak your own words. That is what we do on the Sabbath. Yeah? You know, the Bible says, do not... Uh, Bake on the Sabbath. Do not boil on the Sabbath. The remainder from Friday, you eat it on the, on the Sabbath, according to Exodus 16, 27. But some of them did not understand. You know, problem with Israelites, they don't understand. Some of them still went to gather manna. And who is angry? My question is, who told not to cook? Is it Pharisee? Is it Moses? Was it God? It is God, yeah? It is God. It is not Pharisee. It is not Moses. So, I am not here to, uh, to criticize. I am here to give tips how to do it. How your uh, food will not spoil, yeah? Ellen White says, those who neglect to prepare. So, the solution, the technique is to prepare. Those who neglect to prepare and who cook food violate the fourth commandment. Okay. If you are the fearing in God, you will eat food prepared on the sixth day, even if it is not as palatable. Okay. So, my friend, my friends, uh, according to even official statement, the food prepared the day before should be heated. Yeah? It says here, what will we heat? We will hit the food prepared the day before. Can you read? We are not going to hit the food prepared a while ago. We are going to hit the food prepared the day before. Many people are telling, since we can hit, we can cook. No. The paragraph says we hit the food prepared the day before. You have to look at the reference. Don't believe the people who don't quote. You believe what is quote. Eh? Prepare the day before should be heated. Yeah, that is the reference. Church documents, buying and preparation of food should be done before the sundown. And so many church documents agree to that one. Even, even the Tagalog 
Filipino document, dapat tingnan ng ina na ang pagkain ay handa na according to paganda sa Sabado, according to uh, Home Series Education by NPU and PO Box for 1968 document. CLC Bible also same. So how do people uh, in Unclub, their ulam is already cooked? How do they use? Because they have specific viand for for saba, uh, for saba, yeah. So there are many, many, many examples of people who are able to fully or partially avoid cooking on Sabbath. And uh, I think we don't have time to go through all these 66 things I have collected by God's grace. I'm not looking for them, but when I preach them, somebody comes to me and adds more testimonies. And I just list, list, and list, and list, add, 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 add. And the more examples we have, the easier it is to copy. And the easier it is to copy, then the easier, more tips we have. So when there are examples, there is no more excuse because other people can do it. So many. Like in Ukraine, all of them don't cook on the Sabbath. That's why Satan is so angry with them. They are trying to kill all of them in Ukraine. Yeah, so many. I have listed all of them and made a book. But you can find it in the internet also. From all around the world, people... I think God is restoring this truth. And it is our very much opportunity to teach people what to do. Okay. I think it is already... Okay. Let's go very fast. Okay. Some people said they fast. The nice thing about fasting is you tipid sa pagkain, tipid sa hugasan, and uh, oh, by the way, I tried fasting. When I tried fasting, so that because if I fast, the people who prepare food on the Sabbath, mawawalan ng kwenta yung preparation nila. <laughs> Di ba? Because you know what the Bible says, I know, Ellen White says, those who, who give command, those who cause others to work, are as guilty as those as if you have done the work yourself. You know why David was punished for killing Uriah? Hindi naman siya pumatay, siya lang nagutos. So if you cause other people to cook, you are as guilty as if you cook. So I did not cause anyone to cook, but if I don't eat what they cook, the next Sabbath, they will not be encouraged to cook. <laughs> so I try to avoid. So, uh, ayan, that is one of the... Uh, oh, by the way, I was telling you a story. When I fasted, God, I want... I'm not a theology, I'm not a preacher, I'm not an evangelist. But when I fasted for every Sabbath for one year, God put me in so many ministry and so many evangelism and so many church plantings and so many speaker. I don't understand and I don't know how it all happened. I got so tired of preaching and ministering and uh, evangelism and helping that I stopped fasting. When I stopped fasting, also the church planting and the evangelism, they all stopped also. <laughs> so if you experiment on that, make sure you are following God. Yeah. Anyway, Jesus stopped fasting also after 30 or uh, 40 days. But Ellen White says we should not fast 40 days continuously. Okay. So, so many testimonies, my friend. My friends. Yeah, there is no... Okay. We let's help each other follow this. Okay. Some people use refrigerator. Very easy. Just uh, cook and then put in the ref and microwave. Ellen White says we can heat. How about taking bath? Don't worry. Ellen White took a bath many times on Sabbath according to documents shared to me by Pastor Brian Tolentino. Ellen White says, I was writing, I preached, and then I took a bath on the Sabbath. Okay. And Jesus said, uh, the man who was blind, Jesus said, your, uh, your sins have been forgiven, you go wash in the pool of Siloam on the Sabbath day. That's why he was being criticized by the Pharisees. So, you take a bath on Sabbath. Because Ellen White took a bath on Sabbath, Jesus told the man to wash on the Sabbath. 
Okay. So many things, uh, so many testimonies. The most difficult testimonies. Marami palang sumusunod nito, friends. But they are hiding because you might accuse them that they are... Oh, there is a school which uh, Dr. Jeremiah Famerona went to. He spent four years in Heartland. And he says that they are serving Sabbath breakfast and lunch together on Sabbath morning. Uh, light foods like popcorn, simple food for lunch, and nuts and fruits. So that's we, we, don't know, we don't need to cook that one. So there are schools that can follow this. We just want to copy and... Uh, uh, see how they are doing it so we can copy it. Okay, no more problem. God, Satan, uh, the Sabbath will be the number one test in the last days. Ellen White says food will be, is one of the most difficult to overcome. Diba? If you combine Sabbath and food, it is Sabbath cooking. Very difficult to preach. That's why I don't know if I still have friends after my sermon. <laughs> It will be a miracle if I still have friends. I preach terrible truth that insult, uh, that uh, hits us all. So, how can I finish this? Okay. Every deed of righteousness. You know why you should help Jairus in media ministry, my friends? Because it says every deed of righteousness will be immortalized. If you come early, next Sabbath, to help in setting up the audio and setting up the video. It is written in heaven. Attendance yun, sir. What time Jairus came? 7 o'clock. What time Sir Wynn came? Every deed of righteousness will be immortalized. You know why I want to help all evangelism and all revival? Because I know that in heaven, there is a DTR. <laughs> there is an accomplishment report. I don't have to write it. It is already recorded in CCTV in heaven. See, every deed of righteousness will be immortalized. Although the doer may not feel that end has done anything worthy of notice. Testimonies, volume two. That's why let us fill our lives with good deeds. That's why in the afternoon I'm looking. Who can I help? Where is the sound system that doesn't work? <laughs> or somebody slept, overslept because they ate too much. <laughs> in the, the projector is not there. And so, number 22, Christian behavior. This is the function of AUPA, yeah, to help us. It says here, amusement and entertainment should be the highest standards of Christian taste and beauty. Ang tanong ko, is boxing, watching boxing included in the highest standards? I don't know. But it says that uh, Philippians 4.8 says that we should fill our minds with the highest standards. According to Leviticus 11, we should not eat unclean. My question is, yung manok ba, if it is polluted, is it still unclean? Is it still clean? No, kaya nga unclean eh. It doesn't say, clean things can become unclean, my friends. Diba? Because of pollution and, uh, anong tawag dyan? Environmental factors. You read Leviticus 11, verse 25 to 35. It gives you idea that clean things can become unclean. Yan. Finally, whatsoever, so what are clean things? Thoughts. Whatsoever are honest, whatsoever are just, whatsoever are pure, whatsoever are lovely, good report. These are the things we should watch in YouTube and in Facebook. We should not watch boxing, friends, because boxing is wrong. Diba, diba? And those who have pleasure in those who are watching what is wrong, are included in judgment. Romans 1, 32. Knowing the judgment of God, that there's who, who commit, if you commit boxing, you are in judgment. But not only those who do boxing, but those who have pleasure in them who are watching crime. If you are watching crime and boxing and things that are not supposed to be, then you are also in judgment. Romans 1.32 is our reference. How about tea and coffee? This one, the advertisement in the TV is so strong. And even some working students are doing it. But we have to teach people that tea and coffee drinking is sin. According Council to Diets 425. So, yeah, it's there. 
That is the documentation. There are valid and invalid reasons to, <laughs> to be a vegetarian. I will summarize. There are sicknesses that you need to eat uh, egg and chicken. But if your basis is taste, that is not a valid basis. Taste is not a valid basis. Another valid reason to be not a vegetarian is poverty. If you, you, have, you don't know what you're going to eat next meal, you have totally nothing. Your neighbors, Evelyn Roach says, your neighbors are just giving you baka because you have nothing to eat. You don't have anything to eat, no problem. You, don't, you are not required to be vegetarian. But I think if you have a cell phone, you should have be vegetarian because you are not in poverty. Yeah? So that are, those are the valid and invalid reasons. Taste is not a reason. If you are, uh, if you are deciding not to be vegetarian because of taste, Ellen White says, the Bible says, your God is your belly. Okay, enough. You all hate me enough already. So let us just finish this one uh, with uh, nice things. Ayan. Poverty is one reason. Okay. There are so many reasons here. They are controlled by taste. Oh, sorry. Those who are, are not the ones. So if you are not vegetarian, do not decide who will be vegetarian or not. Because you are not the ones to decide. Because you don't know how to do it. Okay. Illogical excuses. The reason people don't like, because they haven't tried. The reason they haven't tried, because they don't like. Okay. What is the solution? Best fruits and vegetables prepared in most natural way without grease and spices. Okay, okay. Too many things already. Let us just finish this, my friends. Did Jesus eat fish? You know what? In Genesis 1, Jesus, God said, you can eat of all the fruits and trees in the garden. In Genesis 2, he said, except, bakit ganun? Does God change? Genesis 1 says, all. Genesis 2 says, except the one in the middle. Which are you going to follow? The serpent said, according to Genesis 1, all. Eve should have followed the most recent instruction. My question is, what is the most recent instruction about food? Yeah? Do you want to, see, to eat all? Or do you want to listen to the most recent instruction? All gray areas in the Seventh-day Adventist church can be solved by this most recent instruction idea. Jewelry, dress, you just listen about most recent instruction and you will solve it. Yeah? So what is the most recent instruction that God has revealed to our prophets? That is what, uh, that is God's will. Okay, my friends, you, it's very, very heavy already and we have to end. I'm just looking for the other things. Ang dami naman ito. Wait lang. Because the Bible says we have to teach all things. Okay, we will finish. Don't worry. This is just 1,800 slides. Okay. Okay. Thank you for reading very fast. Thank you for reading very fast. Whatever comes to your mind, we are to your sight, you can re remember it. Okay, there are so many. When will this end? Okay, I uh, sorry, sorry, yeah. Okay, so Jesus well, Jesus is our high priest, praise the Lord, because he knows all our weaknesses. He was tempted just as we are, and Jesus Christ is coming again, praise the Lord. When? We don't know. I have to say this, that we don't know. Jesus said, but of that day and hour knoweth no man, nor the angels, but my Father in heaven. Spirit of prophecy says, no time prophecy beyond 1844. You compute only until 1844. Other than that, 
you don't know what is going to happen, especially the dates, yeah? Okay. And number 26, that Jesus Christ died and resurrected, and there will be 1,000 years in heaven. And there will be a new earth where the internet doesn't fail. Wow. <laughs> so let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we praise you, Lord, for the truth that you have given our church. We praise you for the patience of the saints who have kept the commandments of God. We thank you for forgiving us from all our foolishness. Lord, we ask that you forgive us from all our mistakes. We ask that you give us wisdom and understanding to seek you and to follow your will. Because we are weak, we ask that you uh, continue to give us strength and zeal like uh, the people in the Bible. Thank you for hearing our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. For our hymn of consecration, let's all stand and sing we all, when we all get to heaven. Our Father, we praise you, Lord, for the truth in the Bible. We praise you for the truth in the spirit of prophecy. For Adventist University of the Philippines Academy, please help us, Lord, to be faithful until you come. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Happy Sabbath, everyone.